Greetings everyone, I'm Kevin and today we're unwrapping, un unboxing, sorry, unwrapping and unboxing mystery books. So as you can see from both the title of this video as well as the thumbnail, I'm going to unbox some mystery books. So all of these, I have four boxes here with me. I can show all of them at once. I don't have enough hands. But all of these are bought from Etsy and I have not been paid to review or anything like that. It's um, it's Christmas today in Sweden. The 24th is the day that we in Sweden celebrate Christmas. So, Guyul! <laughs> That's why I have like a uh, small Christmas hat and a Muri Christmas shirt on. Um, so, the first box that I'm going to open is sent to me by the Cozy Book Company and I bought it from the Cozy Book Company and this um, the, my order, the order that I placed um, includes one romance book all of these are romance and rom-coms so that's the uh, general genre for all four books but the Cozy Book Company I will leave their um, the link to their Etsy shop down in the descriptions below. But, and this is the shop that I bought this from. And the package includes one pre-loved romance book. So the, this book has been read and loved and now it's sent to me. And it also included a hot beverage. Um, I don't remember which I got. I got this like weeks ago. Um, but I remember I, I got something, I, I don't remember where I placed it, but I, I have it somewhere. And then um, a little chocolate treat. I have it also, I think I have it in the kitchen if I haven't eaten it already, I don't know. Um, and then just a hand designed bookmark, so it's this. I love it that it has like stars, so this, I will have it for the book, with the book. But, so the Co Cozy Book Company, let's open. I got these like in mid, I think I got these in mid-November, so I have waited quite a while for these. So let's unwrap this. So it says a little, I love this paper too, like dark blue, and they have their little sticker. Um, this is one reason I haven't bought any books for a long time. And I haven't read anything for a while. Um, I just I didn't want to risk buying something if I, was, if I was going to get it. I mean, like I have two, I have four mystery book boxes. So, oh my god, okay, what is this? It's pink. We just I've never heard of this. We just clicked. Could it be love at first like? Oh my god, okay. This, just from the cover and the title, and like this little thing, this seems to be something that I could love. <laughs> and on the back it says, Issues always played by the rules, but now it's time to break them. When would-be Instagram influencer Issy Brown agrees to fake date her colleague, Luke, to boost their profiles. It's against her better judgment. But everyone tells fibs on social media, right? And suddenly Issy's follower numbers are skyrocketing. And she's finally living the glamorous online life she's always dreamed of. With the perfect boyfriend by her side. But when Issy runs into Aiden, the mysterious stranger saved her the day her world fell apart two years ago. Major sparks fly. Ooh. Issy's sure she can have the online success she's always dreamed of whilst falling in love in real life. After all, 
Aiden doesn't use social media. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This sounds great. I've never heard of this book and I've never heard of the author. But it, 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 it sounds amazing. And it sounds like something that's right up my alley. So um, thank you, the Cozy Book Company. This was, this was great. So I'm, I'm gonna put it up here. So I think it's staying put. Now and then, oh yeah, I forgot. These, um, the bookmark that was handcrafted by the Cozy Book Company and the little, in, um, is it a business card? Thank you for ordering from my Etsy store. It's greatly appreciated. Enjoy your book. I will, thank you. I will put these in here so that I remember that and that I will put it up there again. So, okay, so we have three more books. Um, I think I'm going for this one. And this one is by Water Crayola. And so Water Crayola sent, this is also a romance book, and uh, she sent me this cute little thing. Um, every mystery book that you buy from her shop, you get a little art print um, that she's made. So she has her little handle down there. And I will link social medias and shop info and everything in the description below, of course. And she also sent with me uh, a little letter and that was, honestly, it was really cute. So thank you so much. And, and this is, um, as I said, it's a romance book and with the package is the art print uh, and a bookmark. Okay, so that should be inside. Okay, let's open it up. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Okay, first I just... Can we admire this paper? I love that it's silver and has these little... Okay, so it has... It comes in a little plastic. Oh my god, open. Open. Oh my god. A book is a new sky to explore. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay. Um, okay. I am intrigued. I am definitely intrigued. And it's Christmas, so I get to indulge in it. But, okay. Oh my gosh, okay, I, I, it, oh my god, this is gorgeous, like how it's, okay, um, I just, I, oh wait, uh, I need a scissor, I have a scissor on hand, then we're opening it up, okay, I, I don't want to ruin the book, Usually for Christmas and birthdays, I always gift myself. I always buy myself gifts and wrap them and wait for the day and stuff. So I've always, since I was a kid, I've always bought gifts to myself. And that may sound tragic to some people, I think, maybe. Uh, but it's something that I've enjoyed doing and I'm completely okay with it. And this was a way for me to buy gifts for myself um, and at the same time what is it what is the word um, and at the same time I'm giving I'm helping out small shops so you know how with the pandemic and everything small shops are kind of it's difficult in this time so i wanted to um i wanted to help them while also giving myself christmas gifts so that was the whole idea with this and the book is 
Painter of Silence. This is interesting. I've never heard of this either. And it's by Geor Georgina Harding. Shortlisted for the Orange Prize 2012. Ooh. Okay, and on the back, it says um, Yasi Yashi. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, Romania, the early 1950s. A nameless man is found on the steps of a hospital, deaf and mute. He is unable to communicate until a young nurse called Safta brings paper and pencils with which he can draw. Slowly, painstakingly, memories appear on the page. Ooh. The memories are Safta's also, for the man is Augustine, son of the cook at the manor house which was Safta's family home. Born six months apart, they grew up with a connection that bypassed words. But while Augustine's world remained the same size, Safta's expanded to embrace languages, society, and a fleeting love one long, hot summer. But then came war, and in its wake a brutal Stalinist regime, and nothing would remain the same. Oh. Wow, okay, wow. I'm excited. I had like as a goal for 2021 to read more historical fiction because I enjoy historical fiction and historical romances sound so great. And this is set in Romania, which also, wow. Like I love reading books set in countries I haven't visited. So yeah, thank you Water Crayola for the book. And then we have this little thing. And if you draw, if you drew that as well, that is beautiful. Then we open this. So this is still water Priola. I just thought I'd mention that. Oh my God, there are a lot of things in here. Was that all of it? Yeah, okay, I have got out all of it. So the first thing is this. Honestly, this fits historical fiction so well because this gives me historical fiction vibes, honestly. So cute, all of this is so cute. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the bookmark and it looks like this. Oh my God. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh, some romance stories are made for the flight. Happy week. Thank you. This was this is beautiful. It's going in the book. Directly. So now I have it in the book. And I'm just going to put it up here. But we're not finished with water cream. We have a few things left. And then here we have you've got mail. And I'm going to see what is in here. So this is the little business card, so water Crayola. And on the back. Well, and then there's a little letter. Aww. Dear Kevin, hope you like this mystery book. And gift from the heart, Merry Christmas. Thank you. I'm putting all the letters to the side so I can keep them as well. And then we're looking at this little thing. Oh my God, what is it? What is it? Also, this tape is beautiful. It's like flowery tape. I don't know, I haven't seen that. Like we have mostly a just boring tape, to be honest. So in here we have, ooh, an art print. Okay, so this is also beautiful. Like honestly, how did you make this? It's giving me a, like mermaid vibes. Do you see it too? It gives me, a, yeah, it's giving me like mermaid vibes. I think so because you have like corals, ocean, corals in her hair, mermaid. Definitely mermaid. So that was Water Crayola. So we are down two books and so far a great start, honestly, a great start. So the next one, is this 
and I think this is the book that came to me first it arrived first I think and also this band is so gorgeous I think I'm gonna just keep it because it has like small small Christmas trees if you can see it yeah and with it comes this bookmark which will go with the book from now on and there oh it's also good their little business card. I will leave all the information to the Etsy shops and social medias in the description below. So just check them out if you enjoy this video. But now, unboxing. Okay, so this is a paperback. So, yeah, so far, uh, all the first three books are paperbacks. Oh, Rosie Thomas. Terrific stuff, a real Rosie Thomas, and it's called White, I guess. I, at first, I thought Rosie Thomas was the title, but I get, I assume White is the title. And one love, one chance, one sacrifice. Ooh. Okay. Um, so on the back, it says, for Sam McGrath, a brief encounter with a young woman on a turbulent flight changes his life. An impulse crazily attracted to her, he vows to follow her all the way to Nepal. Ooh. Finch Buchanan is flying out as doctor to an expedition. But when she reaches the Himalayas, she will be reunited with a man she has never been able to forget. Ooh. <laughs> um, Al Hood has made a promise to his daughter. Once he has conquered his last peak, he will leave the mountains behind forever. Everest towers over the group, silent and beautiful. And the passionate relationship between Finch, Al, and Sam, I'm sensing a love triangle, two men driven by their own demons and a woman with a dream of her own begins to play itself out with tragic consequences. Ellipses. Oh, da, da, da. I'm excited. I'm excited, okay. This is gorgeous, honestly, and it's a travel romance set in Nepal, so it has like the Himalayas. Oh my god, <laughs> you are outdoing yourselves. Um, can I put it, I can put it here. And stay, no, 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 come back, stay. Okay, so we have, oh yeah, I, I, I completely forgot about the bookmark. So the bookmark goes in there, and that looks actually that that looks super cute. They have a, like dee, 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 like a little flower sticking up, sticking up. I think that's really cute. Thank you so much. I actually I don't own, I didn't own a single bookmark until this moment <laughs> that I opened these. That leaves just one box, and it's this box, and this is um, the book and tea box. So this is the business card. In the book and tea box, it has one pre-loved rom-com. Um, it has tea, which I'm excited for. And it has biscuits. Um, I think this one is based in the UK. I, I, I think so. I'm excited to see what they cooked up for me. So this goes off. Okay. Sister is your best friend in Christmas. Usually I tell my students, I'm a teacher. Usually I, I tell my students that, that Google is your best friend. Ooh, and this is what it looks like now. Then it has like a little sticker and it has personalized or like to their shop. Tissue paper, I think that's what it's called, tissue paper. Okay, so we have the tea. And I have nighttime organic. All of their teas are organic. I should have said that. Um, organic and I think vegan friendly and uh, environment friendly. So all of it is very good. <laughs> all of it is very good. And the other tea is elderberry and echinacea. I've never heard of before. A rich embrace tingling with fruity warmth. And this, the nighttime, is a dreamy bed of oat flower, lavender, and lime flower. Ooh, okay, I love tea. So, 
I love tea and I love coffee, so. And then we're looking at this. And we have a little, you've got book mail. And then it has tea, leafy tea, biscuits, border biscuits, and rom-com. Jamie, thank you, Jamie. And then, ooh, okay, so underneath this, we have a little something. So we have divinely chocolatey cookie. Mm. And then we have beautifully craft, uh, golden oat crumble. That sounds great, I love oats. And then we have the last tea is this. And it's light and butter VNS whirl. Ooh, it looks really pretty on the picture. So that is all the cookies. And then we have a little something here. I'm gonna put it down. What is this? I already I already got everything. This is kind of like water Crayola's box. I was like, more things? <laughs> You're giving me more things? <laughs> such a like a great Christmas gift honestly okay so in here we have ooh we have more tea are these tea yeah these are tea okay okay so we have three more tea bags <laughs> I'm going to drink so much tea now okay. so I think all three of them are wild berry infusion so rich ruby red infusion with a proper berry cake from the leafy tea con uh, from the leafy tea con company which is a UK based tea company okay that means the only thing left is the book down to the book so on this little why you'll love it a wonderfully funny romantic trope with such heartwarming characters and hilarious outcomes. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. And I got this little thing, which I assume is like a bookmark. I can use it as a, at least I can use it as a bookmark. So this will be the bookmark to go with this one. And look at this little detail here. Like, oh my God, that is beautiful. And it came with a little pendant, a little book pendant that is so cute and then let's open this up and see which book so we have so far out of the four boxes i have gotten one contemporary i assume it's contemporary one travel romance and oh also this is fake dating fake dating social media romance yes and one set in Romania. So these two are set in another country from my own and from what I'm used to, the US and uh, Great Britain. So travel romance, uh, fake. Uh, fake. Oh my God. Okay, okay. You get a little excited. So, okay. So we have one travel romance. We have one fake dating social media contemporary romance and we have one um, historical fiction 1950s Romania romance. Yes. So let's see what this is. The Love Square Laura, by Laura Jane Williams. I've never heard of this either. Um, she's single but it can still be complicated. Amen. Uh, Penny Bridge has always been unlucky in love, but a change in circumstances sees her stepping into a new life in a new town, where the last thing she expects is to meet a remarkable man, followed by another, and then another, and all of them want to date her. Penny has to choose between three, but will any of them be the one? Okay. Okay, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. So the bookmark goes in here. So there we have it. The four books from this Etsy um, mystery book unboxing. 
and it went great. <laughs> Thank you so much, all of you, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't. And then, good reading, everyone! Bye!